Hey everybody, Brett from Stardew's Gaming here, back with another episode of our Battle Brothers Let's Play. So in the last episode we left off in Elkshorn with a job to go and join the war party of Sir Walrum against House Krieger. Now unfortunately for us, House Krieger is the other house that we were on pretty friendly terms with out here. But because of the way the war endgame crisis works, it's sort of a free-for-all, everybody's at war with each other. However... At least to our benefit, this faction that we'd be joining, um, I can never remember what the hell they're called. It's like House Growl or something. Yeah, Growl. Uh, they seem to be getting the better of the other two factions, and so if we're going to side with ultimately just one, I think this is the faction to side with. Um, in the last episode, I asked you to let me know what you thought about this mission, and it sounds like we should go ahead and do it. Um, we did choose this endgame crisis after all, and so it'd be a waste if we didn't actively participate in this war. And even though we did do another mission, we kind of failed miserably at it. So this is an opportunity for us to kind of redeem ourselves. I'm going to go ahead and take it and accept it, and then we will head out. So where are we headed? Uh, up here. Okay. There's an army camp there. I wonder if we're moving on Helvikburg. Well, we'll go by road since this faction holds all the towns along that road. Should be pretty safe. And uh, we'll see what they're up to. Oh, nice. Plus seven tools and supplies. I'll take it. So I just remembered. Um, at the end of the last episode, we actually had some level ups too. So let's knock those out before we head in there because I don't know what's going to happen at that point. But I don't want to get like railroaded into something and not have a chance to do this. So I'll take the health. Um, resolve is a good idea too because he is the one carrying the banner. And for other skills, Relentless is good on anybody that's wearing moderately heavy armor, which he kind of is. Battleforge is good too, just makes your armor more useful. Um, what else do we have? Headhunter. No, that's not going to benefit him. Maybe like rotation? Actually, Quick Feet can be quite good. Or, sorry, footwork, because that'll let him back out of melee attack zones. I guess let's go with that, because that could save his life, potentially. You could step back and shoot somebody with a crossbow. And then Aldrich the Pike, whose um, javelins we need to take out as well. He rolled really poorly over here. So let's do a four in resolve. I think his fatigue is alright, but he's got Colossus, so he's got a lot of health, too. Uh, I think we'll go three and three. And then for his perk, we'll do Battle Forged. Okay. To the army camp. So what do we got? Sir Walrum's camp has turned the land into mud. They've cut down all the nearby trees, constructing in their place little poorly made hovels that slant wherever the mud gives. Tents go out as far as the eye can see. Fire brims along the way like stars glowing along a white sky. You meet with Sir Walrum in his tent, which is full of maps lieutenants, and lieutenants awaiting orders. What do you need the ferryman to do? A few of my pathfinders have located some of House Krieger's scouts just northwest, that, northwest of here. They're rummaging around looking for the main army, but they won't find it because you'll be going out there to kill them all. Got it? We'll head out immediately. Okay, so he said to the northwest. So, here vaguely? Hopefully not too far, not like way, way the hell out there. I guess we'll see though. Be nice if it gave me like an approximate area, but we can't let anybody escape. Not that we generally ever do. Ah, scouts. So what are we dealing with? They're actually pretty heavily equipped for scouts. I'm doing air quotes with my fingers that you can't see. So we've got some footmen, a billman, an arbalester, and a war dog. The war dog should be pretty easy to deal with. Um, the footmen, however, are going to be armed at least as well as we are. So this will be a decent little fight. Uh, we have everybody ready to go who should be ready to go. I'd like to get Volkart back in there though, maybe. Um, let's put him in for... Uh, but they're all going to have helmets, probably. Helmets and shields, so maybe Bartle is the better choice there. I suppose we'll see. Oh, right, and your javelins, before I forget. Javelins, javelins, javelins. Okay. Let's engage. No prisoners. No mercy. Sorry about that, I took an In-N-Out Burger break, but we're back. And uh, it looks like their war dog's already advanced. I'm going to wait and see if they kind of present themselves a little bit better to us. Oh, crap. 
Well, that hurt. Uh, let's continue to hold off. I wish my frontliners had better initiative, because I would love to try to maybe take some of this high ground for ourselves, but it doesn't look like that's going to be possible at the moment. Though, if they advance, we'll try to light them up with our ranged weapons, if at all possible. Let's try to be rid of this dog. Almost. Um, Ulrich, why don't you smash this guy? Oh, damn. Well, it was worth a go, I guess. Um, do I want to step out and engage them or make them come to me? If I move forward, I uh, run into this, so... I need to either move so far forward that I can claim some of it or just stand my ground and make them step off of it. So I think that's what we'll do. Over here, though, you may as well engage. Or just miss. Um, damn. I was hoping he'd come a little bit further forward. You know what? Yeah, go go attack him. Grim, get your shield up so they don't shoot you again. Richard, I think we'll do the same because that crossbow is pretty nasty. Though, he's in range of us now. Not particularly great chances to hit, but we'll try, and it looks like we will succeed at least once. 5%, huh? Must be factoring in the shield. We'll try 11. Okay, well, it was worth a go. Come on. Damn. And you're not going to be in range. Alright, try to shoot the billman. Alright. I thought I clicked that, but okay, sure. Um, throw one, nice, and then swap to your pike and hopefully kill the war dog. And Bartle, shield up. Okay, he just missed. Fine by me. Let's take another shot at him. So close. Alright. Are they just going to hang out? Nope. He's going to advance at least. As is he. Ulrich, what are we looking at? 17 or 36? Missed again. Uhtred, I do not want to be fighting this guy on high ground, so let's wait and see what they decide to do. They might advance and uh, step off of it. We'll get that pike out and stab. No dice. I think we're going to need to start chipping at shields. Cool. There's another hit. So what's he got now? Pierced cheek and a pierced side. That's not pleasant, I imagine. 50% out there. 38, 38. Uh, sure, try it. Cool. Did quite a number on his armor. Are you going to step down? He is. He's going to engage Michael. Maynard, just start laying into that guy, please. He's basically just wearing a gambeson, so that shouldn't be that hard to deal with. Uh, I think we're going to split some shields up. Because these shields are giving us a lot of issues. Good block there. Um, Orca, slide over. Try to stab him. No luck, but it was all you could do, so whatever. Go for a stun, maybe? Yeah, I figured as much. Same thing down here. We'll start working on that shield. It's going to take a lot of hacks to get through it, though. There it is. Okay, and then Uhtred, you can step forward now, because everybody's off the high ground, except for him. But nothing to be done there. Uh, 46 it is. Uh, well, you did something at least. Please kill him. Nope. John, come on. Nice. Very well done. Alright, you need to get your banner out. We'll have you wait, though. Actually, you could have attacked... Uh, no, you can't attack him. Never mind. Aldrich. 15 or 56. Uh, well, 56, definitely. But I'm kind of trying to get Grim out of there if I can. I'd like to, anyways. 28, 17, 43. Still blocked. He is coming up very dry. On these attacks. What do you have? 41. We'll go 51. Not that his sword is going to do much to these guys. 
Going full defense, okay. Maynard, good job. That broke him. So, if we're a little bit aggressive, we might be able to get Grim out of the fight. Okay, he's gonna miss. Trying to destroy our armor. Keep working on that shield. Almost through. Bartle, um, if you bump this guy... Nice, you can step forward and that takes Grim out of the fight. Where he should be safe. Richard, let's do the same here if we can. Though, try not to bump him up. If you bump him here, that'd be great. No, okay. Oh, and he got you with counterattack. Fair enough. Grim, he's already broken, so just keep, keep swinging. They can come back, so you can't just ignore them. But we don't seem to be having much luck trying to kill him either. Nice. Alright, so he's done as well. And you're probably going to die right here. Oh, he got through. Okay. Well, that makes you, uh, archer bait. Good shot. Very good shot. Um, that's a little bit risky. If I have you slide in there, though, you can do a quick shot. Cool. Aldrich, you're in kind of a weird spot. Let's wait. We'll rotate Grim back completely. I don't think we need to rally anybody. Nobody's morale is that bad. Except for yours, but you're going to be out of this fight in a second anyways. Um, sure, try it. Nice. Well done. You finally land a hit and it basically ends the battle. <laughs> 83, yeah, stay on him. Oh, there goes his helmet. Trying to salvage some of this stuff, guys. Come on. Maybe I should have done a little bit more to farm armor. I just didn't want to, you know, risk taking it too far and accidentally getting somebody killed. Uh, maybe we'll get that helmet at least. Or maybe not. Uh, Richard, come on, you could have ended it. Grim, I'll let you jump in just because he's no threat to anyone anymore. There we go. Uh, we did get one level up from Maynard there. Grim's going to have to sit the next fight out. We got some equipment that we can use. I would have preferred to get a little bit more armor out of it, but still a decent set of armor, two decent pieces of headgear, some shields that we can use, so ultimately not bad. Okay, victory, yes. Let's look at that level up. And we'll throw Volkart in there before I forget. Um, I think it should be like that, right? Yeah. All right, Maynor, level eight. Got 93 health, so doesn't really need more health. I mean, I, I, I like to stop after 100, but I'm not super worried about them at the moment. Though, you rolled really poorly over here, so maybe we will give you some health. Sure, we'll do 3, 3, and 3. No point in giving him initiative since he doesn't have dodge. I still haven't decided on a weapon for him, but that's something we'll need to do eventually. Uh, I guess we'll go Battleforged for now. Yeah, that works. And for this armor, um, let's see, Michael, 42 days. Bartle, 83. Bartle, I think it's you, man. Uh, Volkart's at 81, though. 87, but this is worse than what you're wearing, isn't it? Yeah. So, definitely, definitely you. And about that headgear, this is, what, 150? It's pretty damn good. It's going to be better than what a lot of these guys are wearing, actually. I'll give it to Michael, I suppose. And then we'll have to sell off a lot of this junk, too. Alright. Let's return. See what else they got for us. Okay. Do we get paid the 3000 right now? No. Bummer. So we just have to hang out. It's kind of inconvenient. I could use uh, ammunition and stuff. I guess let's go check this place out. Maybe they'll have ammo. Um, we could use some more food too. And if they have any like armor worth grabbing, we'll do that. Uh, they don't have an armor, right? They do have a bit of food. 
And we can unload some of these weapons. I don't need those. I'll keep the bill hook. And I think a lot of these are probably worth getting rid of too. The arming swords can go. We'll get rid of that. I'll keep a military pick around just in case. And how about unloading... This is better than those by a decent little margin. That can go, that can go. And, hmm. I think we'll ditch these two. Alright, so that puts us at almost 3,000. Then I will buy all of your tools and ammunition and a thing of ham. Maybe two things of ham. I suppose in 12 days. Uh, let's try to play it a little bit safe. We'll hold off. We can always get more food later. Get you treated as well. That puts us back down to 2,000, but at least we're well stocked now. And I don't think anything's going to be at the weaponsmith that we want, but it's worth looking. Speaking of weapons, though, let's make sure we get re-equipped. Especially now that we have ammunition. Cool. So, I guess we just come back here and camp. Unless, Jerstall, you don't have an armor, right? No. Alright. At the war camp, you slept like a dead man and wake like one too. The sunlight slipping into the tent is too blinding to go back to bed. And the flaps are too far to... are too far too shut. Okay. Ah, oh, like they're too far away. Got it. To hell with it, you'll get up. A young boy stands outside your tent with a scroll. He unfurls and struggles to read it. So yeah, I can't actually read, but I think the commander wishes to see you. <laughs> we enter Sir Walroom's tent, just in time to watch a candle go flying by your face. Its wick sizzles into the mud as you watch a table follow after it, flipping over and over with all its maps going flying. A red-faced Sir Walroom stands at the foot of the carnage, his hands on his hips, breathing heavily as he recollects himself. He explains himself. Deserters, they've deserted. On the eye of the most import on the eve of the most important battle of my life, I can't even keep my goddamn men around. Look, I cannot have this army coming apart at the seams. I need you to go and find those deserters and bring them back to me. They refuse to return. Well, kill them all. One of the sentries said he saw them go northeast of here. Now hurry up. Alright. We'll head out now. Uh, are these their tracks or uh, it must be their tracks? Okay, here they are. There's eight of them. I think we can handle them just fine. We do have an opportunity to maybe convince them, though. Maynard the stalwart points out a group of men standing on a road, standing at a road sign. They're arguing too loudly amongst themselves to hear you approach. You give out a sharp whistle, which simultaneously silences and spins the men around. One rears back. That rat commander sent mercenaries after us? You nod and explain that they should come back with you. Another deserter shakes his head. Go on back? How about you just go and get the hell out of here? We ain't gonna go back, so you go on and tell the commander just that. Hmm. Is this who you want to be? Cowards that won't defend their own lands? As the deserters turn to leave, Gerald steps forward and clears his throat. So that's how it's gonna be, huh? You're gonna wiggle out of your responsibilities like a bunch of limp dicks. I know you're... I know how you're feeling. I know you see no point in this war or risking your life for some stuck-up nobleman who has no idea what you go through. That's fair. But you're gonna wake up from you're gonna wake up years from now, bouncing your grandson on your knee, and he's going to ask you questions about when you fought in the war. And you're gonna have to lie to that little boy. The deserters huddle and come to some sort of agreement. Breaking the huddle, their leader steps forward. Despite some objections, we'd agree to come back with you to the war camp. I hope I do not come to regret this. Good, you made the right decision. And we didn't have to fight. Which we won we would have won that fight, but um, it would have been pretty rough, and we're still recovering from that last one, and we might get sent into another, so best to avoid it when we can, because there's plenty of times when we can't. Alright, tomorrow battle awaits. Sir Walroom welcomes you into his tent, but seemingly ignores your reports. Instead, he focuses in on his maps and is continuing debates with his lieutenants on tomorrow's battle plans. You decide to turn in and get a good night's rest. Okay, then we rest. Alright. You tighten your boots as Sir Walroom readies his men with a big, pompous speech about the grand importance of a war between the noble houses. It's very convincing. It has to be, if men with nothing to gain from fighting are going to be dying, or doing the dying. Onward, brothers, there's a battle to be won. Okay, so we are fighting. 
against... Well, we're fighting with their army against their army, which is going to be pretty extensive. We have a bunch of footmen, some billmen, a handful of arbalesters, standard bears, and knights, even. A couple of war dogs and some mercenaries. Well, to arms. Let's do this. Okay, so it is 23 on 21. It looks like both... Uh... Like, lead knights are here. So we have a standard bear standing next to Sir Walworm himself in, like, his full dragon getup. And then we have Sir Kunibert in his swan getup. But we do have a slight numerical advantage. Let's see. Is there anybody in the front line that I might be able to hit? Uh, there's a couple people without any sort of... Let's wait until they get closer. They're bound to advance. Yep. These mercenaries aren't very well equipped. They probably should have hired better mercenaries. <laughs> like us, we actually have like really high-end armor. Oh, come on. Hopefully not every ranged character they have decides to target Ulrich. So 36, 41, let's shoot back here. Well, that didn't work. Um, 54, yeah, go for it. Nice. Okay, another one advances. It's kind of interesting that Ulrich's taking point on this. I guess it left us in our formation. Which is, you know, nice of them. But it kind of feels weird, given that this isn't our army, we're just like part of it. Like, they're mercenaries deployed off on the sides, but like we're like the center of this formation now. Aldric, um... Good job. Let's pull out your pike, since it's probably going to be more useful, and see if you can't just get rid of that dog. Oh, come on. Okay. More and more advance. One thing I wish they would add in this game is the only thing you can really customize is the shields, and then you can paint your helmets. But I wish there was a way to recolor surcoats, sort of like the, the one that um, Richard is wearing, because you can buy them in like solid colors, or sometimes they're like half one color, half another color. But a lot of times it's hard to find the color that you want, and it would be so much easier if they would just allow you to uh, basically buy any color surcoat and sort of paint it like you do the shields. But so far there's no real way to do that, which is kind of disappointing, because I'd love to put together our own like really professional looking company, just like um, you know the armies that these guys deploy. Though, maybe that's the intent. They don't want you to look like a proper organized army. They want you to look like mercenaries. But I'd like to have the option. Um, Volkart. What's going on with you? You still got a pierced cheek. I guess swing up here on the flank. And I might have you go after this guy. But there's no point in doing that just yet. So hang out there. We'll try to stick with the formation as much as we can. So if they're going to advance slowly, we'll advance slowly. Bard will get him out of the way. Come on, you can do it. Uh, Maynard, hang out there on the flank. Richard, I'm going to step you through and have you start working on that mercenary. I might let Ulrich hang out in the back. There's plenty of people in our army and our allied army with shields. So he's got a weapon that can reach over the top and attack you know, somebody over the front line, so, you know, why not leave him back there where he's a little bit safer from missile fire and uh, just make use of him that way. I think you're done there. So let's see what they decide to do. He's going to fall back, probably wise. That dog's holding his own up there. I think it's like four people. Oh, they got a net on Sir Walroom. Bet he's pissed. Good block there. I mean, Uhtred's got really good armor, so I'm not surprised. He would have been fine either way. Good stab. That's what I like to see. They continue to fall back over there. I might start pushing that flank. We don't have a lot of guys down there is the issue. But, uh... If I could get the ones I do have after those few people, that might be... useful. Um... Don't have a whole lot of options, do you? Let's just fire into the crowd. Oh, nice. You, uh... You crushed his windpipe. That's pretty brutal, actually. Well, great. Um, let's try to kill that crossbowman there. Nope. Okay. 
Mercenary's going after the dog. Dog's doing a pretty admirable job hanging in there, though. He's completely surrounded, and he is still... Still fighting back. Uh, two blocks there for our friend. And then two dodge... Or two evasions. Not a whole lot going on there. I am a little bit tempted to send Volcard out after these guys. But I do worry, because there's a lot of people over there. He might find himself uh, in over his head. Hmm. But there's not a lot for him to do over here. We could jump in behind these guys, but then we're still getting shot at. Let's go for it. We'll go after those two. Over here, we'll just kind of keep formation, I guess. Yeah, just stay there. I'm not going to end their turn until I know for sure that the enemy is not going to like ambush us or anything. Then we have a couple of options here. We'll go 57 and try to steal this kill. Wow, he blocked it. Um, I think I'll have you step in right there. Let's start working on that shield a little bit. He's just hanging out in the back. He's trying to avoid this fight. Maybe he's one of the deserters we just brought in. It's a good kill there, though. Another good kill. We're definitely getting the better of them. They killed our dog, but that's the first casualty we've taken. Meanwhile, they've lost, uh, what, four men? Orca, probably about time for you to get your weapon out. I'm not going to throw anything first because I need him to move a bit before he attacks. I'd like to help out... I don't know where. I think you're going to need some backup. Let's get over here. That's kind of what I was afraid of, is I'm getting caught out in the open. Do me a favor and bump him. Good job. And then you're going to slide up over here and help out there. Gotta watch these pull arms though. Ah, oh, crap. First try. These guys all have pull arms, so we might be in trouble up there. Can you just kind of smash your way through this? No. Not with the heater shields. Um, yeah, they've got a lot of bill hooks and pikes and whatnot. So we're going to need to be a little bit cautious up there. In fact, let's start moving some people in that direction. The, our allied army seems to be more concerned with the right flank, kind of giving up the left flank, and we don't want to... Ah, oh, shit. That's what I was afraid of. He's got... He's got a kite shield, so he should be pretty well protected against range attacks, but that never means much because the AI gets lucky all the time. Let's stay on this guy for now and try to kill him. No dice. Uh, if you step over, you can help out right here. Might have been better off trying to get rid of that shield first. Crap. So Ulrich's been hit again. And John that time. John, fire back. Oh, you hit the other guy, but that's okay. As long as you hit something. There we go. Killed one of them. Reload and advance. Okay, hang in there guys, trying to get you some support. Ulrich, yeah, swing over to that side. I need to get them forward, though. At this rate, it's going to be hard. Ah, crap. That's what we didn't need, is people getting in the way. Because if we can get up on these guys, we'll tear through them pretty quickly. But if they can sit back there and attack, that's exactly what they want to do. And exactly what we don't want them to do. 20%, huh? You know, if you get there, you can do a little bit more for us. So, 55, 51. We'll go 55 then. We'll try to clear this guy out. Down here, I need you going after those crossbow men because they're going to just take you apart otherwise. He's completely given up. So, unless we think we can steal that kill, I might just abandon him. Move on. Send Richard into the back line as well. That might be the better play, actually. Okay. Michael, protect yourself, and... Let's see... Start working on that shield. I'll have to remember which one I started beating on, because, uh... If I go back and forth, it's gonna take a long time. Ah, oh, crap. That guy's done. Bartle... Get in there to help. And, let's see, 30%. Let's start working on your shield first. Good block, even though you're stunned. Way to hang in there. 
Good block. Okay. So Kunibert's moving in. Let him uh, deal with our allies. I don't want any part of that. Alright, good. That guy's gone. I'm going to send you out this way. He's going to run for it. He's going to jump in and get himself killed, probably. Uh, yeah, just start dropping arrows into the crowd and see what happens. That's all we can really do. If you step up, you can potentially get this kill. Ah, you miss. Good hit there. Oh, another lucky shot. I don't know how they land those. Like, we're behind somebody with their kite shield raised. We should be pretty much the same as if we were hiding behind a wall right now. There we go. I'll take that. And slide in a little bit to get yourself protected better. Now we've got two kite shields ahead of us. We should be damn near invulnerable. I say that, but they'll still hit us. Um, he just rallied them. This guy's about to die. Orca, what can you do for me? 56? Yeah, stay on that guy. Try to get rid of him. Ulrich, same thing. Nice. Shift over here and you can help out with that one, since you're not getting into the middle of this anytime soon. Uh, he tried to hook somebody. I don't think it ultimately mattered, though. I think he tried to hook this guy who was already on top of him. I don't recall which way you went. Okay. I guessed right. Good blocks, good blocks. Ah, oh, crap, that one got through. Alright, so he's done. Now Kunibert's gonna get surrounded. Oh, I wish I could loot that armor. I'm gonna sneak Bartle in here and have him start swinging at the billhook. Uhtred, get your shield up and just protect yourself more than anything. 29, we'll try it. This is a good hit. Got him in the head. Okay, going after Bartle now. Spread the damage out. Don't focus fire anybody. Maynor, go right back at him, I guess. Since you can't do much to his shield other than just keep whacking it. Let's get in here. Um, you guys need to stay close to the shields. Otherwise, you're going to get shot. They're moving him around a little bit there. Okay, you were attacking his shield, so keep attacking that one. That guy's just gonna flee the battlefield probably. You need to move up. Take a shot into the crowd. Um, back here, not a whole lot that you can do. If you shift over there you can attack the billhook though. Nice. So 12 left. We're definitely winning this battle. I'm just trying to get out of here with no casualties. Especially if like very important or long-running characters. Damn. Trying to keep everybody alive, but especially the people that have been with us a long time. Let's see. Yeah, fire into the crowd again. Nice. Um, Ulrich. 41, huh? The best you can do, really? Damn, there's another one. Oh no! Um, where was that? Michael the Bold, dead. I don't know if we'll catch that guy. We gotta make sure we get Uhtred out of there. Though Uhtred <clears throat> is surrounded by three people, so I don't know that he's gonna be able to get out of there anytime soon. Um, somehow you ended up engaged with... They just keep knocking him around. You guys would maybe have done some damage already if you just stood and fought him. Uh, step up to here and shoot him. Though that's probably not wise because he can attack us now. Uh, that's probably not wise either. Damn it. Um, step there so at least you're out of reach of the hammer. Nope. Nothing on the stun. Did a little bit of armor damage there, though. Can we knock people back? No. It's worth a try. 
because I went, oh no, Uhtred. Uh, struck down, so he's not dead. That's good at least. We got one attack through over there. Really starting to uh, suffer from attrition here. The battle's drawn on so long that everybody who's accumulated a little bit of damage is getting chipped away at. Oh, good. Good block. Good block. Alright. Um, fire at that guy. Okay, well that works too, as long as you hit someone. Aldrich. Come on. He's gonna swing back at you now. Uh, I need to get somebody in there. Not sure who or how though, or yeah, who being the, the main the main one, because if I put Ulrich in there, they're gonna tear him up. They've got a lot of weapons that can deal with armor, and that's all he's got protecting him. If some of these guys would come over here and help out, that'd be great. Ulrich, let's wait. I'm not sure what I want to do with you yet. Good block up there. Go ahead and fire at 31, 32. Ah, well. Move up. Okay, he's going to step in. That's not ideal. But not much to be done. Alright, hit him in the head. Good job. Okay, well they freed up Richard. So I might have Richard get in here and attack this uh, Arbalester from behind. That means I won't need to worry about their range characters anymore, at least. Yikes. The frontline guys are kind of falling apart. They brought a lot of pole arms, which is not something that we had on our side. Um. Hmm. I guess try to get rid of that shield if you can. I need you to go there and then here. So he's got to pull a, a melee weapon now. He can't just keep shooting. Good hit, good hit. Fatigue's also becoming a problem. Now, guys, just attack him. You don't need to keep bumping him around. 56, 36. Um, sure, nice. That arm is going to really slow him down. Good job. Oh, no. That second hit was almost deadly. Fire into the crowd. Nice. Got him in the neck. Back here. Alright, please put this Billman down. Good job. So he's going to break. Or he is breaking. You, meanwhile, need to get yourself some space. Uh, you know what? Just attack him. Damn. Blocked it on a 68, huh? I and mean, then he's going to rally. I was hoping we could do some damage to him before he rallied. Who bumped him? Oh. Got him with the pike. Um, 63, 36. Alright, we'll just kill you and get you out of the way. Let's see. Fire over here. There's not really anybody in the way over there. Kind of. I mean, he's kind of in the way, although that's arguable. Yikes. Bartle, hang in there, man. Guy nearly gutted you with that. Um... What is that weapon that he's carrying? Some sort of sword. Okay, well, he just stole our kill with the crossbowman, but I guess that's okay. As long as the crossbowman's not a danger anymore. Oh crap. You might be in trouble up there fighting that one. Right, um... Keep working on that shield, that's all you can really do. Pray that these other guys lend us a helping hand here. Ah, come on, Maynor. You can get that. You can get that kill. Well, Walrum just took somebody down. I think I will jump in back here. Uh, I don't know if that's wise. Take them both on. Uh, these guys might help me, so let's. At least try to distract them for now. And he's still surrounded. He's not doing much. Okay, good. Two misses over there. Aldrich, steal the kill. Nice. 
At least we got a little XP out of that. Um, start shooting into the back line again. That was a good hit. What can we get over here? 21, 67? Nope, still blocked. Demolish armor. Let's just batter him. Cool. Uh, we got that through on a 19% no less. These three are still having a hell of a time over there. Uh, Maynard's not looking good now. Okay, fire at 29, 30. Fire into the crowd, see what happens. Nothing happens. He's going to jump right into the thick of it and kill somebody. Nice. That'll let Bartle back out or step in to help somewhere else. Oh, well, they already stole that spot, so nothing to be done. That was a pretty terrible miss. You guys, if you destroy his armor, I can't loot it. Ah, crap. You're going to lose that fight to a freaking unarmored archer. Yeah, start swinging around. I could use your help elsewhere. Okay, blocking a dodge. Nice. Start to soften them up. I think I can steal that kill, too. Uh, nothing doing there. This guy gonna fight back? I feel like he really hasn't done much. Alright. I say that and then he gets two hits in a row. And then we miss. Good blocks. Glad you're hanging in there. Why don't you step forward and kill him? Fantastic. That'll let you help out there, and you did. Fantastic as well. Um, Keep shooting at these guys. Nice. Oh, that almost killed him. Orca. 71, but this guy's basically dead. Oh, crap. Okay. Um, Ulrich, get the kill? No. He's going to retreat. We'll see if our archers can't hit him. He might be out of range, though. Definitely out of range of them, unfortunately, but uh, maybe not Franklin. 20%, 29. He moved there. Is he still too far? Yeah, but that gives us a clean line of sight here. Come on, hit him. God. Gonna need some help over there. He's gonna die. Let's see, two, and still out of range. So, if you move to here, you might be able to hit him on the next turn, if he's still there. You need to start whacking him. Oh, I forgot. He might kill you. Alright, this guy killed the one that was on Maynor, so Maynor can either advance or back out. Bartle, start moving up, whatever you do. He just broke. This is about over. He really had very little bearing on this fight. We'll get him surrounded. I, to be honest, neither knight really did. Like, I don't know if Walrum got some kills. Oh god. But, uh, certainly not a lot of them. That's a good hit right there. I didn't mean to wait, but sure, whatever. I don't think you can get in to attack him, so I'll just steal that kill and leave you there. Guess you're not going to do anything. Uh, just out of range. Um, let's try that. Nice. Sniped him. Ulrich, jump in there. That bannerman is yours. There goes his armor, so no loot in the armor. Um, I don't know that you can do a whole lot. Get in here and you might be able to line up a shot on him. Uh, that's what I figured he'd do. Bastard. Surrounded by people trying to kill him and he goes after like an unprotected archer. Ooh, that almost was friendly fire. God, please land a hit. Alright, well. Cavalry's coming, but I don't know if it'll get there in time. Let's see what everybody else does. Maybe they'll join this fight, too. Well, he's going down. Just a matter of when.
Yeah, nothing you can really do to those shields. I'll help out with whatever I can. No! Cut his head clean off, bastard. That puts us back down at 11 men. Franklin's also... Wait, were you out of ammo? Yeah. But we'll get some backup in here. We'll still run that guy down too and kill him. Um, let's see. If I get you like there, you can just shoot him point blank. Richard, that guy's yours now. Get some payback for us. Um, if you go there, you can shoot straight. Still miss somehow. <laughs> and he's virtually dead. So it's just going to be this guy. Because Volkart couldn't kill him in, what, six turns? Something like that. So now we've got to clean it up. He might make it to the edge of the map. Uh, I'll say run him down, but he's probably just going to step off the map as soon as he gets his turn, so it might not matter what I decide to do. I want my revenge, though. Yeah, he's gone. Alright, Uhtred survived with... Uh, he lost an eye. Awesome, so he's got an eye patch now. Um, he did lose some vision and some range skill, neither of which will actually affect him in any way. Michael and Volkart, unfortunately, were dead or killed too. Um, Volkart losing his head, Michael just dying to his wounds. Bartle, Ulrich, and John all leveled up though, and we have quite a few serious injuries that need to be treated. We also looted a ton of armor and a ton of weapons that we'll try to make use of. You find Sir Walram punching a dagger into the side of a wounded man's chest. The felled enemy seizes to the pain, but he quickly fades thereafter, going limp in mere moments. A gush of blood follows the blade's retrieval as the commander wipes it on his pant leg. Right to the heart, quick and easy. What man could hope for better? You nod and tell the commander that you're returning to your employer for your pay. Okay. Let's see what we've got left here. We have exactly 12 men. So, Grim, you're going to need to slot in there. And Gerald, you are probably going to need to pick up a shield and get into that front line. <sighs> it's not ideal, but I don't know what other choice we have. So drop the bill hook, take the armor. You already have armor. Whoops. Um, shield. And I guess a flail? You don't really have any bonus to fighting with flails. But uh, flails are definitely useful, so I guess I'll give you that. We need some reserves to make up for all these losses. We'll go three for the melee attack there. I think we'll go four on resolve. And I think he does have dodge, so let's give him... Mm, maybe not. I'm going to give him fatigue. Because he's wearing some heavy armor right now. Okay, so Ulrich. I think you need Battle Forged. It's going to make your armor even more useful. Especially since you rely on it so much because you don't have a shield. Well, let's get that on you and I'll go ahead and mark this to be repaired. But I don't want anybody wearing it when it's only 15%. You rolled very poorly over here, so I will give you some resolve some hit points. You don't have Colossus yet, apparently. And some fatigue. Yeah, let's give him Colossus. And John. John's armor is completely destroyed. We'll give you some range skill, definitely. Probably some range defense. You could certainly use it. And I think his fatigue and resolve are fine. I would say probably hit points. Hmm. What to give you? Got dodge. That's not going to help. Um, reach advantage, overwhelm. Fast adaptations, decent on archers. I tend to go with other perks because once you have them high enough range skill, it doesn't tend to matter as much. So it's kind of a short-sighted choice, but it can still benefit you. 
Footwork is good so that you can back out of enemy attack zones. I think I'll do that. And I'm going to switch your spear to a bill hook. Just so that you have something that you can attack from the back line with. We need to get a lot of people healed too, but let's go get our pay first. So Elk's Horn, here we come. Hope you have the coffers ready. Um, they have an armor up there, so I think that's where we'll visit. But I'd like to buy a nice set of armor and maybe recruit a better character to join us. So 3,000 crowns for that. What is this now? Uh, it's pretty good pay. It's almost 1,700. Hunt down what kills people in the woods around Elk's Horn. Um, let me think about that. I don't know that we're in any shape to do it. Who has a temple? Oh, come on. Scalastead. Okay, we're going to Scalastead. So here we are. They do have some work. We'll check those out in a second. Well, actually, we'll check them out now because we can't uh, access anything else right now. Then we escort a caravan a day to the southwest. Uh, maybe. What's this? About 12, almost 1300 to do what? Uh, I might do that, actually. I'm not going to accept it yet, though. Let's wait until daylight. And then we will... What's going on here? Um, come on, really? Well, apparently they had a friendly brawl, but uh, now i got to treat even more people. We're also out of food and tools. We need to fix that. They have even more work for us, too. Well, I didn't mean to click the weaponsmith there. God, this is going to cost us so much money. Right, well, everybody's patched up. Let's get food, let's get tools. They don't have a lot of food, but they do have tools at least, and at a reasonable price. We'll sell some of this stuff too. Let's see. I think one bill hook is enough. We'll get rid of that spear. Get rid of that bill hook, that, that, that. Um, some of this armor we can make use of. I don't need this many shields though. I need to paint these because they're all like enemy colors at this point. So that's what that one's at 89, that one's at 97. Let's keep that shield and we'll sell the rest. And as far as helmets go, I'm not a huge fan of these. But they are potentially upgrades, so let's hold on to them. I'm gonna get rid of that spear though too. And I've got a couple of pikes. I think I'll sell that. I've got two spares. Can probably do away with a bit more. In fact, yeah, we'll get rid of a crossbow. I'll get rid of those two sets of bolts. I only need one thing of bolts. Oh, and that one. And one thing of arrows. It's looking a little better. In terms of armor. In terms of armor. There we go. You guys in the back here can have some upgrades, so we'll do that one. And sure, that works. Hassan, you've already got a better piece of headgear, so just take the better armor. And then finally, John. This is a bit damaged, but it's still ultimately a slight upgrade. And then you can have the better headgear too. In the front line, Gerald, I think, has the worst armor of anybody. So, Gerald will get this. And that gives me one extra set of chainmail to distribute. Now then, what to sell? Actually, hold on, I didn't look at this stuff back here. So you guys, it's 105, these are 150. So I'm going to give you these even though I don't particularly like the way they look. It's not what's important. Then, I think I'll sell a lot of these extra helmets. So, you are 110, you can go because this is 140. Those are very much outclassed at this point. I'll get rid of all but one of those, and that's looking a little bit better. For armor, I think I'll unload two of you and you and keep the rest. So, that's looking a little bit better, and that puts us at 4400, which gives us a lot of money to play with. We can sell more stuff too if we feel like we need to. 
But that's not bad. What's this job now? Is it something to do with the war? Could be. 2,700 crowns, which is less than that last job cost us, but uh, could be all, all at once, so it might be more difficult in that regard. Then we're going to kill Marauding Greenskins. I might do that. I might do the Raiding Party one too, but we'll leave it there for today, and you guys are welcome to chip in as to what you think we should take in terms of jobs. That's new. Of the Occultist, huh? But uh, a rest would be probably wise. There's a lot of people with some really nasty injuries that we probably shouldn't push too far. Did we not buy food? And we did. I think they just ate it really quickly. So we might need to go to Jarstall and pick up more food. And ultimately, I'd like to make our way to Summersburg so that we can buy more armor. And potentially... Actually, before we call it, I wanted to see who was here. Uh, so we have Walrum, a hunter. Or Hugo the Wildman, who's already got a couple of levels under his belt. That might not be such a bad idea. Yeah, I'm going to hire Hugo the Wildman. That does cut into our money quite a bit. Let's see, uh, Hugo, give you Colossus, he's got a lot of potential for health, he's afraid of undead, he's also disloyal, great, but he's got a lot of potential for health and fatigue and a little bit for resolve, uh, and then one more, we'll go with, let's go student so that he can kind of catch up, oh right, no, I need to spend these, I thought I had another perk point, we'll go three, did really badly over here. Um, hmm. Let's go with some health. That'll give him up to 90. Actually, probably 91 or 92 even. And I'm going to take the melee skill just because he's going to need it. Then I'm going to borrow all of this equipment here. Uh, where did that just go? Oh, it went up here. Okay. And Hugo, I'm going to give it all to you. And Gerald, you get a shield. Um, I guess take that one because it's in decent shape. You can wear the armor too, the fancy one. And that's better because he is a little bit better fighter. Yeah. With some levels already under his belt. So... It's a decent little upgrade to our party, but again, we still need to look at armor. Anyways, that's where we'll leave it for today. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I had a great time playing some Battle Brothers with you. It was fun to get involved in a big battle like that. Though it didn't seem to be for all that much. Uh, we didn't gain any territory or anything. I guess it was just two armies meeting in the field near Jerstal. But uh, anyways, it was fun nonetheless. Though, obviously, there was some, uh, or quite a few costs, actually. But, uh... Thank you guys again for watching, and I look forward to seeing you back here for the next episode.